What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. You got Wags My Tag back in this. And I'm going to be talking about a little thing called E3 because we're going to be kicking that off on Monday with some of the craziest, newest things that you've ever heard, ever seen in the gaming community, right? And we're going to be seeing some new things. And I thought I would give you my uh, little wish list slash what I hope slash what I think is going to go down, right? So PS3 is going to go in there. They're going to show off the new console, you know, they like, that is one secret that they've been waiting to hold off, like, what does it even look like? Is it going to look sexy? I think it will. It's going to look tight. They're going to have some dope games that come out. They better have, like, a new Jack game or just throw something, like, old school in there, like Crash Bandicoot, but, like, on some crazy new level, right? They're going to be talking about all these new games. We haven't even seen any gameplay, but I guarantee that we're going to see some demos, and that's what's going to make everybody lose their minds. The hype has not even started because what do we know? Oh, like, we know their functions of these consoles so far. We haven't seen Jack as, like, as far as gameplay and uh, as far as what it can actually do, what, what we're going to be expecting to play so uh we're gonna see some fire from sony it's gonna be awesome they're gonna have some tightness they're gonna show about how the vita is gonna like integrate in it's gonna be cool i don't think that's gonna be that crazy right it's gonna be tight it's gonna be tight everybody's on sony's team right now but it it's not gonna be comparing because you're gonna go over to xbox right and they have been getting some like total total hate coming their way because they had a presentation where I think that the marketing team was pretty smart, right? They showed off the console, got everybody hyped up no matter what because they saw the new console. They dug it, right? Yeah, everybody dug it. You can't say they didn't dig it. The Kinect looks tight. It looks like it's from the future, right? And they they basically broke down all the services, all the new stuff, right? That they were going to talk about. Get all the boring stuff out of the way, right? What this That wasn't even the real, like, that wasn't even the real talk. That was unveiling. And that was, like, what it can do. And everybody that's on Xbox right now is using Netflix. So, like, they were just do it, playing the percentages. When they go to E3, they're going to turn up and, pull, like, pull out the best games. No matter what, right? Call of Duty, like... It, I, I, I hate to bring it as an example. I'm not a Call of Duty player myself. I respect everybody that plays it. They have their own. That's what they do. But Call of Duty is going to format their games for Xbox. They're going no matter what system it's on. They're going to make it for Xbox, and then the the PS3 is going to get the watered down version or whatever. It's just what uh, the PS4 is going to get the watered down version. It's just what's going to happen. Like it's it's not even it's it's not even that crazy. Uh, but it's just Microsoft, they got a better foothold than all of the developers, right? They're going to have the upper hand right there, and that's what matters. You can't, well, they can't even act like that. Just because the PS3 is turning up right here at the little bit, like the end of this, doesn't mean anything is going to happen crazily. Uh, so we're going to see this Xbox, so it's going to blow up. We're going to see so many new games. I, I can only imagine, right? And, and everybody's like talking smack about how. It's always going to be on. You're going to have to have a like a hooked up connection. Get this, guys. Get this. Every game in the future is going to be like that. To have the best experiences, you're going to have to have that going on. And so, and when you're in your house, like right, you have to be hooked up to the internet all day. Well, if you can, if you can't afford the internet, then you can't afford an Xbox One. It like it's kind of smart. They understand that you're not going to be on uh, like be able to afford a three hundred, four hundred dollar console if you don't already have internet. Like, what's the point? You can just do something else. But th this like this console is going to take over, right? You can't even deny it. it it's going to be like the bomb, right? So they're going to bring some fire with all their games. They're going to show how Madden is going to be tight. They're going to make want everybody want to buy every different new type of genre of game because they're all going to be on a much higher level than ever before. Yeah, next gen. But then we got to throw Nintendo in there because they have a possibility to like just throw the normal heat that they normally do. But with Super Smash Brothers, they're going to sell so many consoles it's not even funny. Like even if I mean, I would say for every five copies of Super Smash Bros. sold, it's, it definitely made one of those five people buy that console. Just because they'll go crazy over it. It's the most hype ever. But if they made a Pokemon game that was actually on the screen, or they did something that was just, just new, or like brought Samus in there, a new Link. I know we have Link HD. Just... They could do anything and win. It doesn't even matter. Like, bring in any of the characters... 
put them in any situation. Like, we could have another golf game. We could have all these other games. And they're going to sell a million copies. Mario is money. But, uh, that, I mean, that was just my predictions, guys. I mean, I think that's going to happen, man. Uh, I think the Xbox One is going to absolutely destroy everything else. Despite what everybody's been saying, it's going to be a good show. So, if you guys like this video, you can rate, you can comment, you can subscribe, you can get back at it. And, uh, peace, guys.